Lenses have played an important role in modern scientific discoveries. These little pieces of glass have helped humanity view our surrounding galaxies and helped us observe the very cells within our bodies. But lenses have been around, developed and improved upon a lot longer than you might think. Objects have been found in archaeological sites that have similar properties to modern lenses, such as the Nimrud lens, found in Assyria and dated 750 to 710 BCE. It was a polished crystal with one plane and one slightly convex face. Its usage is a bit of a mystery. Some popular theories involve it being a decorative stone, a magnifying glass, or even a fire starter. The first lenses were either polished crystals or water-filled vessels, and it wasn't until the Middle Ages that glass lenses were produced. In 945 CE, Abu Ali al-Hassan ibn al-Haytham was one of the first people to describe the eyes as the receiver of light. Before this, the ancient Greeks and Romans thought that you shot eye beams out of your eyes. Al-Hazan's description helped European monks develop a hemispherical piece of polished glass that could be placed on top of manuscripts to make them easier to read, which led to the development of the spectacles in the 13th century. Hans Lippershe developed the handheld refracting telescope in 1608 by using two lenses. Although, there is some contention on whether Lippershe stole the concept from another glassmaker in the same town. This invention meant that people could magnify distant objects, and these early telescopes looked like something a Hollywood movie pirate would use on their ship. A few years later, these early inventions were refined by Galileo, the famous astronomer and physicist. This enabled him to reach a 20 times magnification, allowing him to see from the valleys and mountains of the moon to the moons around Jupiter. He also inverted these elements and actually created the world's first microscope. This microscope had three lenses that could magnify objects 30 times more than previous designs. These past inventions have paved the way for the advancement of humanity. Telescopes have now been flung into space so they can get a clearer view of planets, stars and galaxies without the Earth's atmosphere being a limiting factor. And the technology has advanced so much that space agencies use mirrors instead of lenses. In the past 50 years, many telescopes have been launched into space. The most recent was the JWST, and it's been sending back immensely detailed images of far-off galaxies. From macro to micro, the lens has also expanded our understanding of life forms on planet Earth. In 1665, Robert Hooke used a microscope to write his famous book Micrographia, which detailed hundreds of specimens, like the flea. And he also coined the term cells when he was describing cork structures, where the small holes in the structures reminded him of a small room or prison cell. These first microscopes helped us describe the different organisms in and around us. Like when Antony van Leeuwenhoek, a clothing merchant, became the father of bacteriology when he decided to inspect a clothing sample and discovered bacteria on the cloth. The microscope rapidly got more and more advanced, with the image resolution getting better and the magnification increasing. And now, the microscope has evolved so much that lenses are not needed for instruments. This was made possible when Ernest Rusker in 1931 figured out that the magnetic coil could be used as a lens for electron beams. And alas, the first electron microscope was born and with it, the high resolution of internal structures. Humanity is continually developing and improving the lens to help us understand the world around us. But what do you think the future will hold for lenses?